Hey there, it's Brandon Folk, and I finally got a little bit more time to try and get these stepper motors going on this uh, Porsche Boxster or Cayman. I'm not sure I got it off eBay, but the it's the instrument cluster, which I have, and I've took it apart, and I tried to reverse engineer it for the past, like, two weeks, and I gave up, so now I'm going to... I'm going to have to just simply interface with the actual dials and lights manually instead of using the micros they have on board. So what I've come up with is a very simple FreeBSD driver, which doesn't really need to be a driver. I just wanted to do some kernel mode stuff, so I made it a driver. But it's a really simple... It's not going to focus. But it's, it's, a, it's a really simple program that just uses out B to access the serial port. So everything's driven off of the serial port and into here. It's r really just a direct connection right now until I start addressing the individual dials. Right now I only have it set up for the TAC and we're going to go and we're going to load this module. So let's give it a shot. So it should go to 8, 5, and then I think 7, and then end. So it turns out to work. <laughs> really well. It's, it's, it's been a lot of fun doing this. So eventually I'm going to turn this into a core CPU usage gauge that I'm just going to set to the side of my computer and it would constantly be going back and forth. It's a little bit loud but I could use more of a sine wave instead of a square wave to try and quiet it down and smooth out the steps. The only issue right now is that it seems to be a little bit iffy. Like going from 0 to 1 it takes 20 pulses, then 1 to 2, it only takes 16 to do that range, and then it averages about 16 each range with a few off by ones once you go every 2 or 3. And then on the way back, it actually seems to be off by about 3, so until I can figure out that maybe it's an issue with my signal, I'm just going to have to get a lot of different numbers for the actual distances and how far to go back so I could kind of calibrate this thing but what I'm really afraid of is after an hour of using this that it would just be completely off because it, it's just not super accurate by now but I made a little table so far for going one way and you can see how it's 20 and then 36 and then 52 67 83 98 114 and then 130 for all of the uh, different RPMs there, 1 through 8 respectively. Then I also just have the diagram of what mine currently does that's just for helping me out. But I'm going to see if I can get it a little bit more calibrated so then after time of running it, it won't be off. But who knows what will happen there. So I hope you find this a little bit interesting and I hope to have some actual code working really soon.